Happy Friday, friends. Welcome back for another episode of some simple meditation. So this is our Friday noon opportunity to step away from our doing and uh, enjoy just a little being together. All right, let's chat for just a moment about a focus that we can consider for today, not only during this simple meditation practice, but when we go back into the rest of our day and just think about the consequences of living in a really fast paced life and in a culture where we have a lot of information coming at us at all sides, all kinds of information and how our brains are trying to keep up with not only receiving and digesting it, but somehow evaluating it and judging it. And that's kind of the treadmill that we find ourselves on and it becomes exhausting, not only for our minds, but for our physical bodies as well, as well because they're completely connected, whether we like it or not. So when we get exhausted in our minds from that fast paced living, its consequences show up in our physical bodies as well, all right? So one of the great benefits of stepping back and practicing any form of meditation or mindfulness or meditative movement is that we get off the hamster wheel, we get off that treadmill for a length of time and slow everything down and remember what it's like to be a human being instead of constantly trying to do, 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 and catch up and keep up, all right? And so there's a great phrase that I, uh, it's a great scripture that I love to uh, just ponder that is in direct relation to this. Be quick to hear and slow to speak. So, you know, the more that we can be in tune and listen to ourselves and listen to the people around us, especially you know, wise counsel and good information coming in that's grounded and solid and listen with both of our ears and pause and rest with that and then speak from that place of being calm and grounded. The better off we're going to be, the better our relationships will grow. Um, as we engage them, and the better our minds and our bodies and our whole well-being will be, okay? So let's practice that, being quick to hear by settling in and just listening to our bodies, listening to our heartbeats, listening to the sound of our breath and the movement of our breath back and forth and keeping it just that simple. So find yourself a comfortable position. You can keep your eyes open or closed, whichever feels most natural to you. And just settle into a comfortable place here. You don't have to stay perfectly still. You can always incorporate a little soft movement, anything that helps you to relax and feel your body. I usually do start with some movement because it helps me to pay attention and to notice all the parts, especially my hips and my back, which are my areas for holding on to some tension. So do whatever helps you right now as we slow down and start to listen. Noticing the quality of your breath. Is it long? Is it medium? How does it feel as you breathe in through your nose? And out, either through your nose or your mouth. Notice how deep down that breath goes into your body.
Notice what's happening at your chest and your rib cage as you breathe. And if you're comfortable, you can invite a little bit longer, a little bit deeper breath pattern, just a little bit at a time. Continuing to listen, provide any movement that your body's asking for or any change in position that you need. you're listening well here, paying attention to any part of your body that's asking for a little more of a break or a little more help in taking a break. Getting to know the parts of your body that need that ongoing special attention. always return to that simple paying attention of each inhale and each exhale, enjoying the simplicity of just more rounds of breath like this together. Nice and easy. Coming out of this really softly, gently, maybe going back into a little sway or a little movement wherever you want to move first. Keeping the body relaxed. Noticing how everything feels all put together. And this is always a great time after you've noticed and come in contact and connection with your body. It's a great time just to say, ooh, thank you, body, for all that you do. 
24-7 for me, to take care of me. You know, there's always stuff happening in our bodies, constantly renewing and healing, regenerating, trying to, you know, manage all that we're throwing at our physical bodies to do. And it's so nice to, to be in this place of slowing down and acknowledging how, what a miracle our bodies are and all that they do for us. And I probably am only seeing the tip of the iceberg in terms of that performance our bodies are constantly under. So remember this as we go into the rest of our day and that we keep the same perspective even though we're active and we're gonna have tasks coming at us now, remember we still are being quick to hear and slow to speak. So listen to what you're engaging in and how fast you're going and how much information you're, you're receiving and demanding yourself to digest quickly and make quick decisions and maybe too many decisions and too much judgment all at once. And you can always, when you recognize and you're mindful of the fact that you've gotten onto that hamster wheel or that treadmill again, carefully step off, slow everything down and return to a pace that's sustainable and one that is honoring your own self, your own being. And you'll find that the more you do that, the more you'll actually be able to do. The quality of what you're doing will be so much higher than if you're on the hamster wheel trying to keep up. All right, something for all of us to work at. No one has achieved perfection. I certainly have not. I work at it all the time. But this is one of the best ways that I have found to help me work at it. So thanks for joining and have a great Friday, a great weekend, and we'll see you here next week. Peace.